It's a lucky glimpse to see a mink in daylight. These handsome mammals, known to most through legend and lore, are mainly nocturnal. Hunting the edge of water and land under moon and stars, they lead mostly secretive lives. At least until their youngsters get hungry. Then no one gets any sleep. Young minks are active now, fresh out of the dens and learning to hunt. It makes no difference that daytime temperatures reach well above 100 and that the sun is fiery bright in the sky. After all, a dip is always waiting. And there's just too much to explore after being confined to a nursery den. Minks are curious creatures, cautious but largely unafraid. They are roughly the size of fox squirrels, but they're skilled and deadly hunters. They live wherever good water is found, streams, marshes, lakes, and reservoirs. Their diet covers a wide range of prey, but they skip all the vegetables. For them, it's meat only. And that includes ducks, muskrats, fish, crustaceans, birds, whatever they're big enough to tackle. Early summer, mom takes them hunting. A few weeks earlier, she's busy finding food for her litter, which averages about five young. That takes constant work. But once the young are able to tag along, she plays the role of supervisor. Leading them to good hunting grounds, she's content to rest in the shade while the kids play. And for young minks, that means hunting. Today she brings two youngsters from her streamside den up and over a road to a small lake lined with riprap. The jagged rocks make a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers to explore and hunt. The lake is fertile and full of food. It's a perfect training site. Her young son needs no prodding. For him, nothing's better than to run free, investigating every nook and catching anything not fast enough to get away. When successful, he follows the natural mink way, bringing the meal to a den or special holding area where it can be eaten later. Mink commonly kill more than they can eat, placing it in a special place known as a cache. Then they eat it later. Today he's doing nearly all the hunting for mom and sis. While they wait in a dense shoreline thicket of water willow, he runs back and forth over a hundred yard area taking them food. This effort, carried on at the speed of a bounding youngster, conditions and strengthens him, sharpens his hunting skills and gets him ready for the time he'll break away from the family group in late summer. For him, it's a good time. He hunts equally well on land or in water. He's already an excellent swimmer, and rounding a rock, he may surprise a group of spawning green sunfish along the shallows. They know all about minks and watch for such danger. At the first flash of movement, they scatter and escape. But not all are so lucky. Often he grabs a fish that move too slowly. Underwater, only a sudden ripple tells the story. And then it's back to the cache and off on another hunt. Crawdads are a favorite now. The big crustaceans make a tasty meal, and the young mink easily avoids their sharp pinchers. Crawdads are plentiful in the lake, and the lucky ones are well entrenched under shaded rocks. But others move freely among underwater cracks and crevices. They are the targets of the hunting mink, and he seldom goes more than 15 minutes without catching one. When he stops to dine, he'll often eat the head and claws first. By mid-afternoon, even this enthusiastic hunter needs a nap. Things quiet down along the shoreline as he joins the others in a shaded retreat. But it won't be long until he's at it again, being a mink and loving it. And for us, providing a rare daytime look at these special animals. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.